Two young children from the Solomon Islands have become the first from their nation to undergo life-saving heart treatment. The procedure conducted in Adelaide will essentially cure their condition, which left them prone to heart failure. Five years ago, 13-year-old Georgina Anua was diagnosed with a congenital heart problem. It's easily treated in Australia, but not in the Solomon Islands. It's everything to us. Um, <coughs> it's about... It means a lot. Like, I don't know how to express it, but we are very grateful that we can have this. Four-year-old Siri Tadar faced similar problems to Georgia. His heart was not good, but now he's good now. The catheter is in the right ventricle of the heart and in real time we can see the moving of the heart. The children's surgeon Andrew Kelly says congenital heart conditions are unexpectedly common, with about 1 in 100 babies affected. But the corrective procedure is relatively straightforward. Usually uh, for these conditions a, a one-off procedure is enough to um, fix the heart problem well enough that heart function is um, very close to normal, if not normal, afterwards. There are many children who, uh, who simply don't have access uh, to uh, an operation and sometimes that can mean that eventually they become inoperable. It costs $35,000 to bring a child to Australia, funded through a long-standing rotary program. We've been able to look after just over 530 children from the Pacific Island region and in South Australia we've been able to change the lives of just over 30. Oh, we are excited and we are grateful that she can help, have this help from, from here. An opportunity more children from the Pacific will be given soon. Brittany Evans, ABC News, Adelaide.